In other news tonight, local leaders have long been saying that we need more resources to serve people who are in crisis. And now we know a brand new mental health crisis building will soon be coming to Spokane. And county commissioners announced the project will likely decrease arrests and act as a more compassionate way to serve our community. Krem 2's Brandon T. Jones has the story tonight. At first glance, this building behind me may not look like much, but this time next year, it has potential to be one of the most important resources here in Spokane County. With the ground officially broken, Spokane will be home to the first ever mental health crisis building in Washington. And our jail is not a mental health facility. Our jail is for, for incarcerating people that put others at risk. The new facility will serve as a jail diversion program, meaning first responders who get calls related to mental health issues will now have the building as a middle ground. It'll be a solution that doesn't result in the arrest of someone who can't necessarily control their actions. This is transformative because a significant part of our jail population are folks that are suffering from either uh, substance abuse or mental health and now we've got an alternative, a diversion for them. Resources offered at the crisis facility will include trained therapists. Along with that will be a full range of medical, mental health and substance use services all at a single location. It'll serve almost like a rehabilitation center to help people get back on their feet and stabilize. So it means that we're more efficient with how that we deploy our police officers, our law enforcement officers, and it's a more compassionate way of how do we deliver services to those that are in need of help. The new project will cost $9.1 million. $1.5 million will come from the county. Another $1.1 million is from the city and the rest is being funded by the state. It's expected to open in June of 2021. Hopefully this will be the model for other counties in the state to follow. From Spokane, Brandon T. Jones, Crim 2 News.